Hi everyone, um, here are my other Vivarium videos that I have created. Um, a few people have been asking me how I've made the background and other various things that are in the Vivarium. So, uh, today I bought this new glass terrarium as it says. It's uh, a lot like the Exoterra ones, but the doors aren't swing, they slide open. And no difference at all. So I bought that today. Um, you'll see how big it is in a minute. It's just in the box at the moment. I uh, also got the canopy top for the you know, UV, UVB lights and stuff. And also a heat mat. Yeah, because I'll be getting a red eyed tree frogs, the Australian ones, which uh, require a reasonable temperature inside a tank. And there's some vine stuff that sort of got given with the tank. And yeah. Right, um, as you can see, I've pulled out the very of the, the big box there. See, it's all wrapped in some plastic stuff at the moment. Pull that off. Um, it's quite a nice sized vivarium, I think. You see it's got the, the sliding doors there. Can't open them at the moment. So. Yeah, and the top just clips off at either end. Take that off. And... Yeah. Hi everyone. Um, today I went out and bought some more materials and stuff for the new vivarium that I bought. Yes. This one here, a lot like the Exoterra. Just has sliding doors, not swing doors. Um, today I bought this creeping fig or ficus pumia, as it's known. Also a bunch of different bromeliads. Yeah. A whole range of them and some rocks. Yeah, yeah, reasonable sized rocks. Um, known as volcanic rocks, apparently. I don't know. So that's what called me. Um, yeah, they are two bucks each. Yeah, the bromeliads range from five to eight dollars each, and those two thickest pumas were uh, ten dollars each, actually. Um. Also some aquarium rocks, as you can see there. Um, oh, and also, as you can see, this place is a big mess. Didn't clean up from last time I made my other tank, but anyway. Yeah, this big bag here is like a um, bag of uh, the fern roots and stuff, like uh, mulched up, so like a mulch of fern roots. Which I'm going to use as a mix with uh, peat moss and that um, for the background and substrate and yeah. All right. Uh, also today I went and bought some yeah, plastic like seedling pots. About three trays there. They'll be cut up and um, placed in the expander foam on the back wall, which is. There, the red lid ones. It's expander foam. Also, I got uh, black silicon. That will be uh, well, once the expander foam is placed all over the back wall with the pots on it and um, the rocks and other stuff. Uh, the black silicon will be placed on it, you know, as a glue. For then, I will place the peat moss, which is there, with the. Uh, that big bag of fern root mulch, and that would be the back wall. This stuff, um, yeah, 15 bucks a tube, uh, 6 bucks a tube, I like 3 bucks each, and the PMOS is 5 bucks. Oh, so that big bag of mulch is 15 bucks, which is you know, quite a reasonable price for how big it is. And yeah, um, I also bought some oh, this, the polystyrene stuff here, T2 
two big sheets of it from a place. Uh, that that'll be used for the you know for me to put my expander foam on to you know, give it a back wall so it's not on the glass of the terrarium or anything wrecking it. But as I found out when I opened the box of terrarium, there's uh, all this polystyrene here. So the other stuff is a bit of waste, but oh well, deal with it. All right, thanks. Uh, this is just another continuation on uh, the new frog vivarium. Just over there. Just moved out of the way. Um, as you can see, I cleaned up the drone a bit. Well, because now I'm going to make like the frame of with the polystyrene. As you can see, these are just sheets of polystyrene. A few sheets, which um, I need to cut up. This one I need to cut a little bit off. Just a bit, nothing too much that good. Should be good. Go check that. bit here, which I do now. Um, after I've done this, I'll do the second side bit, which you'll see done shortly. Okay, just uh, an update on how the polystyrene is going. As you can see, it's fitted in there, not glued yet or anything. Um, with the other uh, frog vivarium that I have, I did the same thing, the polystyrene, but um, I made it outside of the tank. I uh, as you can see, it just comes out. But, and then on the other tank, I just slipped it in over the top. So, for this one, I have a lip here. So, it's a bit hard, it doesn't just fit in. So, a little bit of a problem there. So, I think what I'm going to have to do is um, leave it in there and Put the expander foam in as it's just stuck in there. Um, I prefer not to do it that way, it just means crap accumulates down the bottom, like the peat moss and stuff once it goes on, and just, you know, just a general hassle. But what do you do? Also, with this tank, I was going to put a tap out the side like the other tank, but I couldn't get the glass out as I as when I bought it, it was uh, already siliconed in, siliconed in, and I couldn't get it out without you know, breaking the thing. So it's a bit of a hassle, a bit annoying. But what do you do in these situations? So what I'll probably do is uh, uh hopefully run a tube from here up and out, which I can make a siphon out of. Or whatever, I don't know. Figure that out when the time comes to it. Can't plan everything, as I found.